Okay, hi everybody, it's me, Bonkai922. This is going to be the other, and this is the only other one. You know I'm doing Soma, you know I'm doing DxD, and you know I'm doing Fate. Now this is the other episode review of a series I'm doing, and it's called, hopefully I'm saying this right, Arslan Senki, the heroic legend of Arslan. This is the same guy who did for Malachmist and Silver Spoons. The manga. He did this one. Now, I'm seeing a lot of interesting things in this anime for the only the first episode. Um The long and short of it is pretty much We have the prosperous kingdom of Pars. Right? Yeah, Pars. Lies in the royal capital of Ikbatana, a city of splendor and wonder, uh, ruled by the king of Andragoros. The third. <laughs> and we have Arslan, who is his son, as the prince of Pars, who, despite his best efforts, can't live up to being a proper king like his father, and at the age of 14, which later, which is going to happen in the next episode, he goes to battle. Now, what's interesting about this series from episode 1, I'm noticing it's very Middle Eastern. The structures and what people are wearing. So I'm thinking to myself, is this, like, accurate? And according to what they called their people, is Parsians, which I think, and, and I looked it up, I just, for how did I looked it up, and it's located in Iran? So this is very Middle Eastern. This is what this, this setting is, very Middle Eastern. They have, they, they captured in the episode, um, these people. Because his father went to war and he, he as, as slaves, so slavery is involved in this show. So I'm like, whoa, this is crazy. Only episode one. Are we going into slavery? And that's and there's a lot of what's interesting. I find about the first episode. I know it doesn't. We can't really compare Fullman Alchemist to this series, but. How we had the Ishbalans, we have the Lithuanians, I think. I can't say that word. I'm sorry. And they are persecuted as well. It's kind of a similarity there if you want to pull a point it that way. And they even have a god, those, those people, who are to be treated by slaves by the Persians. And their god says that all men are created equal, and so on and so forth. So I already have this this kind of a notion, and basically we, during the episode we have Arslan. He's doing some sword play, and obviously he's not very good at it. He's not living up to the, the image of his father. Then he gets into this tussle when this kid, who is a slave that they captured from the the, the battle they just had, goes on a goose run. Run around goose chase with that with with the, the, the soldiers coming after him because he kidnapped Arslan, the prince, and it ends up going all over <laughs> the the country, you know, the kingdom, and um, eventually the kid gets away, and it's always this one guy that looks like greed, <laughs> um, Dayun, I think that's his name. I could be wrong. Correct me if if, if I'm wrong. <laughs> Dayun. And he basically asks him, why did you stop me? And he's like... And then later on in the episode, Arslan gets like a shocker. Um, he notices the slaves that they had, they were killed. And he's shocked by this. And I'm like... It was, it was fucked up. It was real fucked up. So overall, from what I'm seeing here... First episode's pretty damn good. Already the first episode, I would say, uh, definite 5 out of 5. The animation is great. The music is pretty damn good. The opening was good. The closing was good. Um, 
story-wise and character-wise, I really like it. You know, we have his father, who's the king, and you know, that whole bit. And his mother, his mother seems very detached. But then it's a, it's a kingdom, and this is to be like, because you know, his mother seems to be very attached to her mother. And we see these things going on. Now, in episode two, it's supposed to go crazy hell. Like, it goes from where it was in this episode to, like, goddamn, it gets, goes really south. So, but from what I've seen, this is my kind of show. Because, see, anything involving fantasy, and I'm, what I mean by fantasy, I mean, like, battles and wars and, and kingdoms, I kind of like that shit. Now, the way I look at this show... The best bet I can think of. Think of. I want to say kingdom. But in a sense of. A different way. But I think this this kind of, of series. With you got the creator. The manga of Famalcus. Who did it. And how they animated it. And how it looks. And it's really crisp. And it looks very good. Um. I'm really looking forward to seeing more episodes. The whole slavery thing? That caught me off guard. I, I was really caught off guard with that. I mean, they, they were going to be slaves. And the whole... This kid and Arslan having that conversation of... Oh, Arslan's like, oh, you just... you just If you're just slaves, you just act like that. And you'll be fed and everything else. And like... It's so obtuse. He's like, he has no idea, Arslan, of what's really going on. That's what he was taught. And then this kid's telling him, no, that's wrong. Our God has taught us that everyone is created equal. So, you know, you, you oppress us. You know, that whole bit. And I kind of like where it's going. I really do. I really do. Um... I mean, there was really, when you really think about it in the spring anime season, there's nothing really that jumps at me except for the ones I'm reviewing. The only other ones I can even consider is probably Sidonia. Seraph in the, of the end, I heard some negative things about. And the other ones besides that is Plastic Memories, and I think uh, this one called Punchline. Oh, that was, I heard that was supposed to be really good. But yeah, those are going to be the four. And I already got like nine that I think I can narrow down. Those animes are going to be like first impressions and Mitsuzu's in a live stream. That's how I'm going to pull it. But this episode of this Ar of Arslan, Arslan, Legend you know Arslan, pretty damn good. And from what I'm seeing, from what it said in the description, that's going to get really crazy. Because you see, the, at the closing, yo, you got all these people at the, the, that are like around Arslan. So it's going to be like really epic. I, I, can, I can sense. It's going to be really epic. A lot of battles. A lot of, you know, war going on. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be the shit. So first episode, five of five, four and a half. I think four and a half is more just. Um, but the animation is, is there, the music is there, I like the characters, they're very interesting, um, and the story, if it's going where I think it's going, yo, that, that preview for episode 2 looked very convincing for me to say, I'm definitely going to be reviewing this. So yeah, tell you guys think comment section below, I'll probably upload this when I get home tomorrow from work, um, yeah. And the, as far as the winter anime series reviews are concerned, I will nail a few of them on Tuesday and Wednesday. That's probably what I'll do. And then the rest may be on Friday, along with me doing the regular reviews and such. So. And also watch the spring animes. During the week. So yeah, that's the story. I'm Bonkai Night Toy 2. I'll see you guys later. Slavery. Yo, that was deep. That was fucking deep. I'll see you guys later. Peace.